it wouldn't take very long before I could instantly convince you this is a kidney. You can see nice glomeruli, nice tubules. What instantly uh, strikes you as being abnormal is that within this histologic normal kidney, relatively, you see a big blue irregular but fairly well-defined uh, area. So let's look at it. Let, why is it big and blue and dark and irregular? Well, it doesn't take very long of zooming in before you could see it's irregular because it's loaded with neutrophils. So instantly you know that a well-defined uh, collection of neutrophils in any organ, kidney or not, is an abscess. This is a renal abscess. Um, renal abscesses or abscesses in the kidney are most likely caused by the bacteria that would normally infect the kidney and they are generally referred to as ascending bacteria and they generally are the same bacteria that might cause infections in the lower urinary tract like bladder, prostate and if you were to ask somebody for a list of them they would generally call them oh the ascending gram-negative bacteria and then you would say well what exactly are they? Well they would say oh E. coli, pseudomonas, yada 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 there's a long list E. coli and Pseudomonas are always the two most common. If you want a complete list, uh, please go to Google or Wikipedia because I could usually never remember more than two or three or four myself. But you know that uh, this, uh, these two that I did mention comprise uh, a, a great number of them, perhaps a majority. This is a Pseudomonas abscess of a kidney. If you cultured this, you could grow out Pseudomonas. And if you had a really good high power uh, microscope, which I don't have because I only go to 20x, you may very likely see some uh, rods, gram negative rods in here as well. Thank you very much.